Well, a church modeled after the famed St. Patrick's Cathedral in New York City has been part of a local city's landscape for nearly a century. Today, it's undergoing a million dollar restoration. And Eyewitness News photojournalist Joseph Butash takes us to Hazleton for more on the historic St. Gabriel's Church. The church was constructed in about 1927. It was recognized as probably the most magnificent church in the Diocese of Scranton back then. The problem is that after almost a hundred years of northeastern Pennsylvania weather, the place was falling in and of itself. We, we couldn't keep the inside dry. Many instances of failing mortar joints, flashing damage, and even situations where prior temporary repairs have added to the problem. We had to go up and take out the mortar from all between all of the bricks and the stones and replace it with good stuff. We have a bunch of fabulous artisans who are working, of course, on this scaffolding. We observe all of the precautions now for the church is open. We social distance. We have a limited number of people who can come to church at any one time. But we were able to start on time, and it has not interrupted our, our, our situation. We're on the National Register of Historic Places. We have stained glass windows that were, that were built by Franz Meyer from, from Munich, Germany, and New York City. Nobody can compare, compare them. They're the most gorgeous you're going to find anywhere in Pennsylvania. We have the largest congregation in the city of Hazleton. We're the parish that opened its doors to the new immigrants who came to Hazleton. When it's finished, as we say, this building will sparkle. You will not believe it. Annunciation Parish is close to hitting their goal. Phase one of the restoration is expected to be complete by the end of October.